Greetings, ladies and gentle players. Another wonderful Monday, this March of 2024, making it a wonderful day for the murder. I'm over here on Fox. I'm going to try a 7 Don account. Uh, 7 Don account. I'm going to try a 7 Don game. Um, I'm not really very hopeful this time of day. It's kind of hard to do. This is kind of the thing that I usually have to record a little bit later in the evening. Uh, but cross fingers, we'll see. Just like you can see more of my content on patreon.com slash Dwyron, where you can get yourself all sorts of more content. Whether it's just getting your games reviewed once a month, I do have uh, some more slots available there. All the way down to my group classes, which gets you insane amounts of content from... Getting some games reviewed every single week. You can usually have one or two of those. As well as some wonderful uh, pro games that I select. I hand pick, rather. That I review on the weekends. And I put those VODs back onto the Discord or Patreon. Whichever place you like looking for the releases. It's there. I think personally, the group classes are the best deal that I actually currently have uh, on my Patreon because that turns into like, what, eight extra hours of content for you a week if you want it between the game reviews and like the pro reviews. And you still get access to the simuls at the end of the month. I get a whole bunch of stuff. But all right, let's try to get a game. All right, it was worth a try. Couldn't get a couldn't get a seven done. I just kept queuing into sixes over and over and over and over and over again. So I threw up my hands. We're gonna go ahead and uh, play a six. Now you might be saying, if you're gonna play a six, why don't you just play a six on your seven done account anyway? It's because I don't like doing that personally. If I rank up or down, it's because I did it against the players at that rank rather than you know kind of padding your rank with lower ranked uh, wins so here is the attachment and we're playing pretty straightforward here i have to question whether or not i want to approach on the inside whether i want to enclose all of these good things are completely possible um no i'll go to approach here and then just back off high i think so they have influence, it should work out fairly okay, or we're going into the corner and getting territory. That's the other thing that I thought I'd be doing. <laughs> and yoinkers. Alright, now... High approach, I could pincer this if I really want to. It's a bit uncommon. If I do this one, though, the influence from this is mostly gone. If I pincer, we can still grow a pretty uh, sizable area. Pincers aren't really seen very much nowadays, are they? Only problem is if I play here and he plays like the small knight, or the large knight, sorry, then it gets to be a whole thing, you know? Experimentation is a go. Go, go. Yeah, see, that's what I thought he was going to do. See, I don't want to play this variation, though, is the problem. I could play here into here. That could be a play. Because this one's very, very long-winded, and it features a whole bunch of really, really stupid things that I just don't like. <sighs> do I have a choice? Not really, huh? All right, we'll do it. He did it, not me, man. So I can't play a ladder variation. Uh, that's the only thing that really matters here. I would like to play here, but then there's push and cuts into ladders, and it's just a whole headache. Now, if he's he is playing the AI variation, I greatly respect him playing the AI variation, where he gets the corner and I get the outside. Um, yeah, Alhane. So, cool. This is the variation that the AI likes because, you know, 
You get territory in the corner. But we can keep building, which is great. He's going to enclose, obviously. If he's really greedy for that corner, he might play here, but it's a little weird. Actually, it's not weird, isn't I keep making the mistake, don't I? Uh, by not turning here and giving that, if he plays there, I can't go there into there because it's not an Atari anymore. I forgot about that. If I play here, is it okay? Yeah, kind of, because there into there. Yeah, I forgot. I keep forgetting because I haven't played this variation in forever, you know? Uh, if I play here, here, into here, and then he extends, I play here, here, into here. He pushes and plays there. Um, I'm going to go for it, and if I can't do this, then I've just lost. But I think this move needed to be here. I think it worked because he didn't play it. Yeah, I think this connection needed to be the Atari to block this from happening. Since he didn't, I think we're okay. There we go. So we got a good amount of territory here. Uh, AI will say Black's winning because he has a corner. Now he's going to overcompensate. This is because he's worried about my influence, but I don't have to worry about that. Will it give me the inside or the outside? Only thing we need to know now. What's it going to be? All right, he wants to keep that corner, which means I'm getting the outside. So we know how much territory he has this game. He's going to have this corner and this corner. And maybe this, we don't really know yet. Hard to say. Not insurmountable. They'll try to reduce me again, because I am on the four, five, six, seventh line. A shoulder hit here into an expansion is awkward. Um... I'm going to go for a very, very large expansion. That should get his undivided attention. He can hit here, but it's irrelevant unless he follows it up. Because you can literally clamp here, do whatever. Mm-hmm. going to ignore his reduction. Because this territory and this territory is all I need to equal. This will never be, really, uh, be points. It might make a one-point jump or something. That's about it. So what we want him doing is responding to us and not doing anything for himself ever again. That would be ideal. Also ideal is if I get to play here into here, because there's two cutting points. You won't be able to defend both of them. Thank you. You are now going to be cut. No matter how you look at it, you're, gonna, you're getting cut. It's just happening. So that'll give a weak group here and here. We can come in and attack. I play here, there's this one. So we, mu we must be patient. Must be patient, must be patient. Now he's cut, which makes this and this simultaneously weak. I'm getting rid of his liberty because if he hides, I'm cutting him. I think. Now we're fine, and he's got this little Z group. He's got a group here, and he's got a group here. Not overplaying. We'll, th we'll take care of our own groups. Um... Hmm. If I ignore, he can push and then cross. I won't ignore him. No reason to be uh, greedy. Right now, he's the one frantically trying not to lose right now. Not me. Okay. Do whatever. I don't care. Looks like he wants to try to kill this, but he can't. Ooh, that's going to be the end of you, brother. How you want to do this? You letting this guy grow? You letting him go? What are we doing? Oh my god, you are. Yeah, see how he's trying to look after this group, this group, and this group simultaneously? 
Three groups at once? Oof. I don't know about that, man. And again, the only territory we need to equal, because there's nothing here anymore, literally. Nothing here anymore, literally. It's just this corner and this corner. So you don't have to be like, but what about all of the middle? I don't need it. We have a corner here. We have this. We have Comey. We're going to have, we're going to keep like the third, maybe fourth line here. There's still an extension to be had. So I, I feel no pressure in this game whatsoever. He's trying to go for more points. But I'm obviously not accepting that. He just tried to go for a fifth line. Wait, come on. If he had gone, maybe small knight? Yo, yo, but he doesn't yo, want to get yo. cut off in the middle, right? He's looking after all of his weak groups. He can't push and cut. He can push and cut here. But if he push and cuts here, I'm extending down. So I don't think he can play that. He's going to have to do this one into this one. And then I don't know how this lives. I don't think it does. Nine, this one, eight, this one, this one, this one. Seven, six, five, Seems okay. Four, three, one point jump. Two, just extend. One. Yeah, I think I got him. Yoyomi's left. Gotta watch the shape, buddy. Yeah, I, mean, I think he probably realized he didn't have a lot of territory yet, so he kind of tried to save, but he also overstepped while trying to save. He, yeah, he just resigned. He's like, I, I don't know what to do. I'm done. Tari Mouse 4 0 now. That's kind of cool. I inadvertently have a double rank attempt. With uh, six down, that'd be hilarious. Either way, short game. AI was probably unhappy with me for uh, all of it because I picked uh, the Jacek in the upper right, which was, you know, big frowny face. AI doesn't like that one. And then um, if I had to guess, if I had to guess. Um. It probably didn't like me cutting here because it gave him this shape or something. It probably just wanted me to do like that. Hello. It, hello. It, back one, I tell you. It probably wanted me to do this one or uh, this one just to be more severe, which actually is probably probably true, right? Because if he plays here, you can literally play this one and then force that. That point, that point, that point, that point. You could probably still come up through here. He still needs to not be surrounded here. And then you could just like attack this for some, uh, if you wanted to. Like that seems like it's completely fine. Because remember, you don't really need a lot of territory, right? Black's flashing like 60 points at best right now. And that's assuming the left-hand side goes very, very well. And yeah, that, that's not all that difficult to grab, especially if these two stones get, you know, killed. So there's probably some moves that I could have played differently. And then last but not least, yeah, he needed to defend here. Let me probably play here into here into like here or something to get him to to get him off me here, right? And then we just go back into attacking both simultaneously. That's probably playable. Yeah, like, this is probably how the game should have gone. Where now he's got like 0.5i here and he needs to figure out what to do here while defending here. And again, even if I don't kill him, it's still going to be fine, right? So yeah, it's a game. It's a game. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see y'all next time. Sorry I couldn't get a 7 done game, but uh, we'll keep trying.